with Steve Martin here of Old Dominion at the NCAA Championships. Uh, six athletes here at the tournament. Uh, talk a little bit about your uh, goals and expectations for your team this, this weekend. Well, our number one goal is we're trying to stay away from the hype and make sure we're concerned about our performances you know, versus who we're wrestling because this is a crazy tournament. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff happens. There's going to be a lot of upsets, but um, we feel if we wrestle up our ability levels, we're going to get several guys in the podium. Now you're in a new conference this year. Talk a little bit about the MAC and and the transition of your team up against a whole new set of challenges. Uh, the MAC competition was unbelievable. Um, it basically put us on a national schedule really very quickly. You know, it's your second or third toughest conference. You know, between the Big Ten and the uh, EIWA. But um, the great thing about the MAC is every weekend when we were in dual meets, we were able to wrestle four or five, you know, top 20 guys every time we stepped out in the MAC dual meet, which you have eight of them. So by the time we got to the conference tournament, you know, uh, we we're used to wrestling the best guys in the country, you know. And by the time, you know, we're here at the national tournament, and, you know, we feel very comfortable with whoever we compete against. Our schedule, most of our guys probably wrestled 13 to 15 guys inside the top 20 during the course of the year. So. I mean, I can't say enough good things about the MAC. It's really helped us out. I mean, when you go to a conference like that, uh, I think two things are going to happen. Uh, your kids are either going to, you know, rise up to the occasion or they're going to get beaten up a little bit and get discouraged. And all of our kids kept a positive attitude and they rose up to the occasion. And um, we pr improved tremendously from December to March. So with the conference, yeah, the only undefeated team in Division One came out of the MAC with you and I. And, you know, Missouri was able to defend its title in a really close conference meet. Uh, does that kind of like raise the boat for everybody in the conference? I mean, uh, clearly you guys have to uh, continue to strive to be uh, as good as those teams uh, every week all year long, right? Oh yeah, I think it, I, you know I think it's great that uh, teams like uh, Northern Iowa, Missouri, in our conference, you know. Um, you know, it forced us to, you know, have to wrestle them hard when they, we came out and competed against them. But uh, it gives you more bids and, you know, it gives you a better chance politically to get a good seat at the national tournament, too, because everybody's, you know, recognizing the MAC, you know, especially with Northern Iowa, Missouri, and us joining it. You know, those are, and the other six teams are already there. It's, a, you know, it's going to help you out for seeds and it's going to help you out to uh, perform better at the end of the year. From your team, who's really wrestling well right now? Who, who should we watch as fans? Um, Chris McCotty's number five seed at 141. He's had a very consistent year. Um, I keep an eye at 149. Um, Lenny Richardson, he's the 16th seed. He's lost to Hootie Shelt in overtime, and um, we're going to probably hit him tomorrow night if we win a first match. And uh, you also got Jack Gecko, that's a MAC champ, that's beaten several top 20 kids. Um, and then uh, Billy Curling, he's also seated as well at 174. So we have four seated wrestlers, you know, but um, we like all of our kids' draws, and uh, Again, it's just about them going out there and wrestling hard. And with the new conference, are, are the recruits more likely to consider your school and you can tell them a little bit more about uh, the teams that they'll be facing? It, has it been a positive thing for you in the recruiting world? Oh, absolutely. I think we had three early signees um, you know, from three different states, and the MAC you know, was a big part. You know, we had Savater from California, who's a top 10 kid at you know, 133. Um, you know, TC Warner's <coughs> a top three, four kid at uh, 160, 152, and then uh, Joey Balboni's in the top 10 at 182, and all those guys, um, you know, the MAC was a big role play in them coming to, you know, wrestle with Old Dominion. Um, plus, uh, you know, it's going to make us focus more on Ohio and Michigan, which is most of your te MAC teams are, and those are unbelievable wrestling states. Outstanding. Well, hey, good luck this weekend, Coach, and keep up the great work. Thank you.